so today we are looking at the coffee linux so here is the boot menu so let's quickly boot it in a live boot so i'm running it on a virtual machine which is a vmware with 60 gb of hard disk 4 gb of ram and my cpu is i5-1240p so here is the login screen of the coffee linux and the password is coffee and here is the session plasma x11 or wayland layout united states and uh, power options so let me type in the password which is coffee c o double f double e So here is the welcome screen of uh, KDE Plasma of uh, Co Coffee Linux. So this is also usually seen in every KDE Plasma version. So let's uh, try to click on next and close the finish button. So let's open the system monitor first. So here is the system monitor. I open the system monitor always in the beginning because uh, you need to see how much of resources which uh, will consume in the beginning of the video and I'm going to put the uh, system monitor in the right side corner throughout the video so you can see all the changes throughout the video. So this is the host name Coffee Linux ISO operating system Coffee Linux and the plasma version you get is 5.27.10 and the frameworks version 5.113.0 and qt version is 5.15.11 so the memory is almost 1.2 gb of 4 gb of ram and cpu is almost 20 25 percent like that so let's go to the application i'm going to change the display settings afterwards after showing all these things applications are running like this and this is the history of the cpu memory and network so these are all the process running right now it's still loading so here is all the process as you can see so in the beginning of the video or when we started the Linux distro these are all the process and resources so let me change the display settings first So my monitor is 1920 into 1080 so it automatically changes in the KDE Plasma latest version so if you not you can change uh, by right clicking uh, on the display settings and you can change the display settings and here is the scaling and uh, these are all the other options you get in the uh, KDE Plasma version or the KDE Plasma desktop environment so the version of a coffee Linux is a 23.5.3 so this is the website and these are all the information and the latest kernel is 6.6.8 uh, uh, arch so here is the kernel version so let me close this and let me put the system monitor in the right side corner so you can see all the changes throughout the video like this so let's open the internet browser So we have a Firefox web browser. So it should open in few seconds, I guess. So let's first go to their official website and I will show you all the information of the Coffee Linux. And uh, so here is the Firefox web browser. So before going to their website, let's check the version of the Firefox. You can directly click on hamburger icon and uh, check the about firefox it is bit of lag uh, it's not as smooth uh, in using the version is 121 and mouse pointer again in the kd plasma doesn't work properly for me as you can see so let's close it let's type in about and support support hit enter you get uh, some of the information of the distribution uh, so here is all the information which is os theme operating system kernel all the information will be available here 
so if you want to read you can just pause the video and read everything or you can just uh, change the playback speed to uh, 0.25 usually the default numbers will be like a 1.0 in the playback speed of the youtube settings change it to 0.25 and you can see all these things in a slow mo so right now it's almost 1.8 gb and here you have a pop-up which it says your home folder is running out of disk space you have 176 mb remaining uh, which is 69 percent for some reason i didn't even install it on the uh, hard disk this is a live boot but it says like that so let's go to their official website which is let me go to settings system settings and copy the url from the uh, system info they showed the uh, url there so let me so this is the url you can directly click here it will take directly to their official website which is github.com project xmods forum slash coffee linux so this is the website and the version is 23.5.3 uh, which is the version which are which we are using right now so the code name is uh, viney so it's a uh, pure rs linux with uh, different types of installer i'm going to show you the installer also in few minutes so this is all the information you get here you get a kde live desktop environment uh, from the iso so there are also other desktop environment for the choices like a gnome kde cinnamon mat xfc lx qt lxd i3 sway cute fish deep in budgie enlightenment and awesome almost every desktop environment is available uh, in the iso file so bootloader choices you have all these options gpu driver choices amd nvidia and uh, intel so the web browser it's almost everything you get uh, in the, all the linux store so if you want you can directly uh, go to the official website and uh, read everything about this uh, uh, coffee linux so in order to download you can just uh, click on the coffee linux 23.x rolling uh, on this thing and it will click take directly to the download section so the password you should remember is uh, this one which is coffee this is the password and here is the iso file which is 2024.01.01 uh, .01, which is released this year and the version you should always check is 23.5.3 and he here are some of the things which is uh, removed automated setup function due to failing to launch correctly so this is the uh, download section so let's click on the download file the file size is around like a 1.7 GB as you can see so that's the downloading process that's the information of the coffee Linux I think uh, let's close the browser let's open the console and type in some commands So mouse pointer always uh, is uh, terrible in the KDE Plasma version for some reason I don't know. The older version has uh, nothing but uh, the newer version has the problems. In my laptop I don't know about others but in my laptop it's always a problem. So the version of console is 23.08.4 so let's type in the command inxi let's open the new tab so let's try neofetch so here is the neofetch information so let's type in cat colon slash etc colon slash issue hit enter so all the information is here so let's type in hit stop stop will not execute and uh, completion stop exists so let's uh, close this thing let's go to the installer here is the installer you need to double click on it so i didn't have any topic uh, so that's the reason i went to the uh, random linux so if you have any uh, unknown linux distro uh, you can do let me know in the comment section so i can make the content on it 
So the password is copy. We need to type in the password. Hit enter. So would you like to install Coffee Linux? Yes or no? You can click on one and it will install. So I'm not going to install this right now, but uh, I need to test it. So that's the reason I'm going to go through all the options. So here is the Dolphin file manager. Let's check the version, which is 23.08.4. So here is the system files. So you can check all the information here or uh, you can if you want you can modify lib64 as you can see mouse pointer is showing weird things for some reason so these are all the system files so let's get back here and let's go with the version vr let's get back here this is a home folder, live user and user folders. So let's check some of the properties or preference. So these are some of the settings. So you already know how to uh, configure or uh, do some changes in the Dolphin file manager. So I don't think I should show you everything here so it's going to take a lot of time here so it will make a lengthy video so that's the reason I'm just going to skip this part so let's close this thing let's check the uh, desktop wallpapers so usually you get the same uh, plasma desktop wallpaper let's see whether we have something new from the coffee Linux so as you can see there is nothing from the coffee linux just the default uh, kd plasma desktop environment uh what you call it wallpapers about same 3.0 so let's see what are all the applications which comes with the coffee linux so i don't think there is nothing from coffee linux everything is almost from the kd plasma desktop environment so you don't get any tweaks or anything from the coffee linux uh, distro so these are all the same things from the kd plasma so i don't think there is nothing to show here because you already know uh, kd plasma you've been using kd plasma 5.27 so it will be a waste of time to show you everything because you already know everything about that so let's get back to the installation and uh, check whether the uh, let's see how it works in the installation the password is uh, coffee as you can see ram is almost uh, mid weight i don't say it's a heavy weight uh, or a heavy resource consuming uh, desktop environment usually the kd plasma will consume this much of uh, resources even if you don't open a lot of things so if you open like a five to six apps it will go around like a 2.3 2.4 gb so it's still if you, if you have like a 4 gb of ram you should be good with the uh, ram and uh, I have like a 12th gen i5 so I don't have any issue with the CPU also so it says as uh, your home folder is running out of space for some reason I don't know configure warning so let's go with the uh, password would you like to install coffee linux let's try one hit enter would you like to set use, uh, your username default is 2 uh, let's try 2 password I don't need to put the password would you like to set your root password default let's put the password 2 would you like to set your PC name no would you like to set your hard drive label I don't want to so these are all the things you get like which drive do you want to uh, install the coffee linux to so the default one is uh, one let me type in one let's try yes what type of gpu do you have i have a nvidia so let's try uh i have using in a virtual disk so let me try vmware so here you get the uh desktop environments uh, which is gnome ubuntu version gnome standard version kde cinnamon 
the mint version and standard version matte mint version and standard version lxte lxqt xfc and uh, d pin wip may not work you, you always have a issue with the d pin linux or d pin desktop environment so ignore that so i3 wip may not work sway gnome version so these are all the desktop environment we already read in the official website so you can choose all the information and uh, that's it i think uh, after this you need to it will take directly to the installation process so after providing the uh, username password uh, uh, in the it was in the beginning of the video so i just skipped that part so here is the installation of the uh, coffee linux so i think uh, it will take like a 5 to 10 minutes of installation so after that you should be installed the uh, on your hard disk or virtual disk uh, if you ask me i don't know anything about the coffee linux i don't have any information before so i just uh, randomly found this uh, linux distro to be honest i'm saying to be honest i randomly found this uh, linux distro on the distro uh, distro watch i guess so i didn't have any topic so that's the reason i made this video if you like you can try it on your uh, like a uh, virtual machine it's okay if you try it on a virtual machine so if you want to try it on your uh, main pc or work pc you need to work on uh, a, you need to get all the information just don't check my channel and go to try to install it try to check like a five to six channel other channels which uh, they made of the coffee linux and then go with the installation if you're satisfied or else you just uh, try in a live boot and just uh, uh, remove the ISO file and uh, try other Linux. So I'm warning again I don't always try to watch like a 5 to 6 channels from other YouTubers and then go with the installation because it's your PC you should be responsible. Don't just uh, watch my channel and uh, try to install it. You can check other channels I don't have any problem because it's your PC you need to be very careful. Uh, if something goes wrong uh, when you try to install on your main pc or work pc it will be a problem so that's the reason so if you want to try it on your uh, like a virtual disk or a vmware like a live boot it's always good so again thanks for watching i guess uh, let's uh, close this thing so the default password is coffee so this is the resources i didn't open that much uh, uh, that much of apps because they don't have anything here you don't get any bluetooth apps or anything like that you just get the default uh, softwares so it will be so as you can see there is nothing uh, heavy resource consuming uh, application so i can open so just a firefox web browser and a file manager nothing else is here so i'll be posting two videos daily without missing any day so if you want to subscribe you can or else you can just watch the video and uh, skip that part i don't have any problem it's clearly up to you so let's check the about section and uh, close this thing so at the end of the video it's almost a 1.7 gb and these are all the resources it's going to take a lot of time so let's uh, see the installed still looking so let's try to close this thing and end the video again thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit the thumbs up button it helps make a good content for you other than that i'll see you in tomorrow's video peace out Oh, 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 oh,